All right, Joseph, Laura, please introduce our next performer. Well, last but certainly not least, and to finish off week 10 of EVN Goes Live Zoom is the, I couldn't even point to words, the amazing, <laughs> the talented, oh, wow. Mr. Saxophone Jones. Whoa. <laughs> can you all hear me? Yes. Yes, how you doing? Let me see myself actually so I can see. Yes, oh, I can see myself. How are you all doing? You know what? I had to rush. Thank you for that lovely introduction. And uh, that's the best one I've heard. Um, <laughs> I had to literally <laughs> rush. I had to rush from a booking to get here. I was like, wow. no, get here in time. I literally. Like I said, I, I jumped in just at the time I said to Dean that I would jump in uh, quarter two. I thought I wasn't going to make it at first. But um, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so should I play? Should I talk? Should I quickly say what I'm doing? People know what I'm doing right now? Um, go yeah, go for it. Okay, so basically, yeah, I'm a part of the, um, the um, elite vendors group. And like everyone else i'm a full-time performer and what, whatever craft you do so for me during when the lockdown happened um weddings cancelled loads of bookings i even have one of the biggest bookings i had was for euros 2020 i, I had to keep it a secret but i was part of the itv campaign for their adverts so every time you watch the euros every time it goes to the adverts before you would see my face playing the saxophone and they was gonna fly me here, they're gonna fly us everywhere to do this filming in Italy, Amsterdam, everything. And then that just got scrapped. Wow. And then, um, just quickly sum it up, I was that, I'm that 5% because I'm newly self-employed. I only went self-employed from last year. So this government um, package for self-employed, nothing applied to me, you know? So, you know, watching the news every day, the last day that I kind of tuned in with the chance of the speech, I was like, I'm the 5%, and that's buggered. I've got nothing, and apart from my savings, but obviously, you know, I've got a mortgage to pay, bills to pay. So the thing of like, you know what, I need to get a job. I applied for every job you could think of, driving job, everything, nothing. Only one thing came back, which wasn't realistic. It was delivering newspapers seven days a week from three in the morning till seven in the morning. I actually said, I actually said yes, I'll do it, no problem, until I got an email from someone saying to me, help. And I said, huh? He goes, all oh, right, it's my um, girlfriend's birthday. Could you come in the garden and play happy birthday and one more song? And I was like, at, the, at that time, I wasn't really thinking about performing. I was more worried about how am I going to get money to pay my bills, my mortgage, this and that. And I thought, okay, I can do that, but I'm going to have to charge you for 30 minutes, okay? And he was like to me, I only need you for five minutes. That's fine, but I'll pay you for 30 minutes. Sit in the quote, he paid. I went in there, I performed, I put that snippet on my WhatsApp, on my Instagram, and there's the amount of people that were sending me messages saying, wow, that's an amazing idea, really good. My phone was literally blowing up. And from that, I got two more bookings, and then that's when I made that little ad. I had three contrasting um, bookings, put my little picture in there, put one of my cover songs underneath, and just posted that on my WhatsApp and Instagram. I'm pretty sure that's like four weeks ago now. I haven't been counting, but literally from then, I've been doing bookings every week, sometimes two a day, three a day. Wow. Tomorrow I had one now, I've got some next week. So, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, um, uh, proposals. Actually, funny enough, I just left a couple. I was supposed to play at their wedding today. So what she done, she surprised her fiance with me coming to play. I was playing under the tree outside their house and they were dressed up, dancing, drinking champagne. And the catering company who were supposed to do their food brought some special meals for them. And yeah, it was all a surprise. So it's nice to kind of, you know, still be able to work, but also, you know, give people something which they're not getting, which is the entertainment and some sort of, you know, enjoyment to yeah. the album. To this the, is, the, that is really inspiring. That is really inspiring, Jermaine. Seriously, man. Well done. Like, even what, from what you said about, you know, playing for the couple today that are meant to get married, 
playing for them outside their house while the caterer sent food. This is yeah. this is this is this is amazing. This is something that I don't I haven't heard of yet. And yeah. uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people on the call haven't heard of um so far either. So well done to you, man. Round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. But please you can you can you show us can you show us why you're in demand so much? Can you show okay. us what people are can you show us what people are paying for? As okay, Charles, yes. Zemecha, Charles Zemecha just said, your gift shall make room for you. And it's obviously making room for you. But please show us what your gift is right now. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to play your... I was thinking I was going to play some original cover, but I thought, you know what? With everything that's going on, with, you know, the protesting and being in lockdown, it just highlights how, you know, how much troublesome things we're going through. We need to kind of overcome and coming together and at the bottom line that you know just try and focus on the positives and and it's a bit cheesy saying it's a wonderful world but I'm gonna play something that I think you guys will get what I'm playing this from yeah okay go for it go for it coming on and doing that man that was beautiful man we really appreciate it we're getting some round of applause in the comments as well Thank i know you, you can't i know you can't hear everyone and it's sometimes a bit strange to play and not be able to get the feedback from your yeah. audience but yeah. um now nah, seriously on behalf of the evn and everyone on this call we just want to say thank you so much for coming on and sharing your your talent and your gift with us we have put your um uh, your social media handle within the comments within the chat um, is there anything else that you would like to let us know about or tell us just before we go um, just briefly you know what um, my gosh, I never thought about this uh, basically in, you know in, in every, everything that's going on just uh, oh gosh just, just try listen, don't, 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 don't think too hard. It could even just be like, listen, you guys need to book me and you can <laughs> yes. listen to my phone number. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Slide in the DMs. You go on my Instagram, slide in the DMs if you need me for anything. And, you know, I think how I got here, just think outside the box. Just as, as I was saying today with the woman that booked me to play, you know, it was meant to be her wedding and the caterer still came and bought food for her and her fiancé. Um, there's different, you know, we kind of think out the, think outside the box and still, you know, you know, it, it's hit everyone in, in different ways, but we all have to kind of, you know, stay, you know, 
stay on, stay on, stay on the task, stay focused on what your goal is, and you know everything will work out for the best. You know, and have faith in, in whatever, whatever you're doing, really. Um, but yeah, you know, thank, thanks to everyone for um, having me. You know, listening to me. I said I just rushed to get here, but yeah, you know, and no doubt we'll see each other again very soon. So yeah. Thank you. And a special 10% discount for ed- anyone who wants to use Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, how you yeah, get no, more listen. customers, baby. There you go, there you go, Dean. Dean's put me out there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, guys, you guys need to book Jermaine. You guys need to book Jermaine. Like, this, this, is, this is special. Like, the guy is, he's found a way through all of the challenges in this season to still use his talent to make some money for himself yeah. and people are literally booking him to come to their front garden, their back garden, inside their house or just on, on, on their street. I even saw a video of you playing on someone on, on, in like a, um, like a neighbourhood street like a close. You were yeah, inside yeah. the close and you were playing t- and a- a- all the neighbours came out their house and they yeah. were listening to you play. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's just bringing joy. I mean even to bring it back, the first one I'd done, actually, after I'd done the birthday celebration, my neighbours, where I live now, moved in Crayford, they know I've played the sax. They're like, oh, when are you going to come out and play for us? So for one day, I came out. I just went on my front lawn. I've got a pretty big front garden. I started playing the sax with some backing tracks. And the next thing I know, literally, everyone's come out of their house, you know, social distancing. Everyone's on their lawns. I was there for, like, three hours. I was taking breaks, but I was playing music. And then the next day, I was out. It was a sunny day, they were all out. I came home and I opened my door and there was a letter, there was an envelope on the floor, a letter saying, oh, you were amazing yesterday. Thank you for playing. Um, we know, you know, you're a full-time performer and we kind of went round and we got some money for you. And there was like 70 pound there. Wow. And, and these are my neighbors, half of them. That's the first time I ever spoke to them for somebody because Normally everyone's doing their work, but because it was a hot day, everyone's on furlough, people came out of the house. And for me, it was like, you know what? I didn't do that with the intention of money. And it was funny, I had a conversation with a friend the other day and I was like, you know what? When you do the thing out of goodness of your heart, money will come to you, you know? And I didn't do that for the intention of money and money came to me. And obviously now it's just things that is coming in. Um, so yeah, you know, it's just, you know, do what you love and it will, Pay, it will come back to you. It will come back to you, you know. 100%. We have, to, we have to say yes and a massive amen to that, what you just amen. said. Thank you, amen. sir. Definitely. Thank you for joining Definitely. us today. And everyone, this is EVN Goes Live 10. This is the last session. It has been great. 